It is known as the birthplace of Western civilization. Athens is a historic city and the capital of Greece. Me and my daughter joined a small tour group and traveled throughout the country for seven days. Located on a rocky outcrop above the city of Athens is an ancient citadel known as the Acropolis. Sitting 490 feet above sea level, the Acropolis has a surface area of 7.4 acres. A haze had enveloped the city. Dust had blown in from North Africa and gave the city a surreal look. We entered the Acropolis through the Proplia, which served as a gateway separating the secular and religious parts of the old city. It is often regarded as the finest example of Greek architecture. The Parthenon survived as a temple dedicated to the goddess Athena for nearly 1,000 years. Construction began in 447 BC and was completed in 438 BC, with the decorative work continuing until 432 BC. Over the centuries, the building has also served as a treasury, a Christian church, a mosque, and a gunpowder magazine by the Ottoman Empire. In 1687, during the Siege of Athens, the Venetians fired a mortar round that hit the Parthenon, ignited the gunpowder magazine, which then exploded, causing the building's central portion and the walls to crumble. Most of the damage that you see today occurred during that explosion. In 1975, an organized effort to preserve and restore the buildings of the Acropolis began. That work continues today. After departing the Acropolis, we drove through Athens to the Temple of the Olympian Zeus. Dedicated to the god Zeus, it took over 600 years to construct this temple. Construction began during the 6th century BC and was finally completed in 131 AD during the reign of the Roman Emperor Hadrian. This colossal structure once held two immense statues 
one of Zeus and one of the Emperor Hadrian. The glory of this gigantic temple for Zeus was short-lived, as it fell into disuse after being pillaged during a barbarian invasion of 267 AD. The temple was then systematically quarried over the centuries to provide building materials for churches and houses of medieval Athens. Ultimately, it was reduced to ruins. Of the 104 original columns, only 15 still stand today. The 16th column lies on the ground where it fell during a severe windstorm in 1852. We hope you enjoyed this visit to a few of the archaeological sites in Athens, Greece. Please be sure to check out our other videos and thanks so much for watching.